Yo, what is up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm actually going to be doing a tier list. I usually don't do this, but I just figured why not do it, you know? Um, we have like, what, four four days, I think? Until, um, you know, I titled it until anniversary ruins it, but I actually think there's no way it could actually be worse than what it is right now. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I brought a lot of units. Um, not all of these are going to make it to the top 10, but yeah. So um, first I want to rank who's number one and for right now it's actually kind of difficult. I, I'm actually going to put it for two people right now. And the first one is Gohan and Golden Frieza. So um, by the way, this tier list is based on a lower rank. So you're not going to have optimal setup, not no like three times Zenkai, Zenkai buffs. Not optimal equips are like pretty much just like your average casual player like below below rank 70 usually so this is what i'm ranking it based on um because that's where i that's where i'm at usually so i would put um just these two over there it's actually let me actually change the tiers of this real quick all right so yeah um that's the main reason why this is based on a lower rank so you're not gonna have the optimal setup of course and stuff and i think gohan is like the better unit he he can carry you he can carry like the team by just leader slot golden freeze and i don't think could do that mm -hmm. he could actually do that like but it's not as easy as um gohan gohan just like a free he gives you like a free free combo mm -hmm. he he literally has like the one of the better defense types mechanics in the game so yeah these two are in number two and then for number three i'm actually thinking of putting super 17 but i'm actually putting super 17 in the bottom because i don't i actually don't think um again for lower tier i don't think he's actually um he's that he's that good the good the good thing about him is um he he's like he could get zenkai eat really easily you know um yeah so they zenkai a lot of units a lot of red units so even like newer players should just get you could easily get a three times zenkai above super 17 so that's why i think he's he's still good even though you he does rely on the on the zenkai's but it's, it's literally so easy to put to get Zekai's on him, so I don't think that's even a factor, low-key, so... Alright, so the, for this part, it's a little hard, but I think I'm actually just gonna put UI number four. Um, He's actually pretty... He's still pretty good. He's annoying, of course. Um, I don't think he's that much of a threat still, though. Um, Because, like, pretty much any of these units could actually, like... All of these four units could have a good, like, way to fight against him, you know, like... He's not, he's not really scary, you know? So, um, low-key, I might want to put him lower, but I do see UI more than, um, more than Beast Gohan. And I think he's a little less reliant on, um, higher stars. So, I, I think I'll leave him uh, like that for right now. So, yeah, so I think Beast Gohan is still number five. Uh, I've seen people saying that he might not be, but, like, I think for the lower ranks, he's, like, he's, like, really good, you know? He's, like, the, he's still the person that could literally, like, solo he's like the main he's actually the best one of the best characters to solo like maybe gohan maybe this super saiyan 2 gohan is better but this dude gets restoration and his unique gauge gives him um type neutral so he he could actually just be anybody lucky like of course everybody has seen those clips when, when he just like three does three blues and just gets an lf like that you know so i think that's uh top five right now Alright, so the problem with Baby is that um, you actually don't see him like in the lower rings, and if you do, you're gonna see him at like two or three stars. You know, you're not gonna, he's be basically not gonna do anything when you have Gohan, or well, any of these Gohans that are LF, LF 17. You know, he's not gonna do anything. But I can see in the higher ranks, like when people have like Golden Frieza, a lot of Vegetas, you know, how Baby could actually be like super strong against those teams. So yeah, so I actually think that he might be. For right now, I think I'll place him lower. Um, hmm. Is he actually the only revival here? Damn, okay. So, um, yeah, I think he... Vegeta's actually might be top six right now. He's actually, like, really good. Um, Yeah, there's not much, like, things to hate about him. Like, he, he has a revival. His Nappa actually, actually feels like a, an actual good unit, be, even without the revival, you know? He's like a decent unit not nothing too crazy but he can also revive 
into a better unit. So yeah, um, he's actually pretty good. So yeah, I think um, number six, I have him. If you, what I noticed is when I used him in another team, besides saying he was like suffering a lot, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna blame it on him because maybe that's just my setup, you know. But when I used him on the Saiyan team, on the Saiyan saga with um, Nappa, Yamcha, and Gohan, they they were cooking, bro. They they were they're actually a good team. So yeah, um, I think he might be six because Chest of the Revival, um, easy easy cover no has um has type neutral has a lot of mechanics like car um car destruction like. Nullification, I think heat reduction too, nullification, all that, heals a little bit, even pre-revival, so a lot of good things about him. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, top six. Now, let, um, Goku, I think he might go lower right here. Lower than, I actually gonna do this, okay, yeah, yeah, I actually, uh, okay, I kinda liked, like this list a little bit more. So that yeah, next is Yam Yamcha, the goat, the goat himself. Um, he's actually really fun. One of the best, better um units that they released. He's actually super fun. Um, he's actually kind of annoying when you face against him, but you don't, you barely face him against him. He just like locks blast. Um, which is hello annoying, but good for seven against seventeen Gohan or, or even UI. Pretty pretty much for anybody, just like being able to block a certain type of cards just by entering is pretty good you know and um he could literally just he also has like some crazy like he in, nullifies endurance for 15 timer counts when he enters a field he gets um cover no on the green and he locks in with his main ability which is just is it's actually so crazy bro that they actually gave him all that while they actually like they did this dude so dirty bro it's actually crazy so yeah, actually, Yamcha's top seven, bro, which is kind of crazy, bro. Hey, he deserved it though. He deserved it. Baby already talked about a little bit about him. Um, you don't see him. He's low starred usually, and he's not in the right meta for um in the lower ranks at least. So now for GT Goku, um, I just feel like you really don't need him anymore. Um, in the other meta when it was like against Super Seventeen. Beast Gohan, Revival Cell, and um, maybe UVB. He would actually have a lot of value, but right now, he's just a good defensive. He's just a good defensive. You know, you know, he could even tank some sometimes against um, Gohan. You know, I've actually seen people like I could actually probably put like Fiku or something. You know, but um, I don't think. Um, but I'm a, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put my my goal in it instead okay so yeah that's why he's number nine um he has a good main ability when you when the when you have a last man standing for opponent and yeah pretty cool pretty good unit not that annoying obviously because he's not he's not strong offensively but he is hella strong defensively so yeah and number 10 okay i know i know this is a little crazy but i'm just putting him there um i don't know who else to put um in the lower ranks I actually don't see Jaren, and when I do, I like he barely does anything, you know. Like most of these units, I don't really see, or ch they just don't do anything in the lower ring. So I'm just putting him just because of the plat. Um, and he's super fun. I've actually used him hella. Um, he's one of the better units that I have right now. Um, with the equip, it actually did change a lot of things. Um, just being able to heal doing more damage they give him like pretty much 40 damage inflicted if he has one ally and just 20 if he doesn't so and he's a pretty pretty new unit so it's like it's an actually a pretty good equipment um i think they should have done a little bit more but for right now i think it's it's pretty all right for what they did so um yeah i think this is a uh, my top 10 list and I'll, I'll continue a little bit to make it like maybe top 20 but this won't matter too much for the ranking so yeah um, Gohan, I think he deserves it. I'm actually gonna put Jaren because I, I do see the value of him, even though I don't see him that much. Maybe something like um, one, two, three, four, five. That's top 15. I think let's low key take UVB out of here. Let's take 
Huh. Let's take Gogeta for right now. I don't think he's that useful. And let's take. Hmm. I should just leave it red right like that, I guess. So yeah, um, number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a tier. That's a top ten right there. And for the top fifteen, it would be I think this this revival is crazy, bro. He's actually hella good. Um, his damage is crazy. Like for mine at least, I have him high starred though. And like I actually so I finished soul boosting him and he's actually does crazy damage. It's actually insane. Jaren, um he's just a tanky dude. That's it. He has an AoE green, which is annoying. That's an easy way to get priority. Same with this dude. Has a final death counter. He dies easily though, so that's his problem. Um Super Vegeta, I feel like people just don't use him. That's his problem for right now. Um But I think he's he actually He's actually, he seems pretty good, but I just, I just never see him, you know. Um, and then Bola, I think Bola is better though. Um, just with the support, uh, giving an extra card, just like, she really just combo extends, like, she supports combo extends and has a little bit of cover, you know, like, I think people sleep on her with, um, co compared to Pan, uh, I think Pan deserves honorable mention right now, which is crazy, but, yeah, that doesn't matter, honorable mention really doesn't matter. Um, and then these units, um, just a quick quick breakdown um this dude was insane like a month or two ago when red red green and then just um who dropped and ruined it i think it was like maybe golden frieza because it countered gohan which is like gohan like these two can't really do that much against frieza so uh janimba just a good unit but uh, again now that we have like a little bit more greens, well, there's not that much, there's actually not that, not even that much greens right now. Well, I guess with Gohan, you know, that hurt a lot, but, um, Gogeta, Piccolo, all these units, when he dropped, after he dropped, like, made him, like, an easier, an easier opponent to face off, you know, you could just, like, tank the ultimate with it, with Piccolo, and it wouldn't matter. Goku and Bardock, I just don't, I just don't see them that much. I, I've been using them, and they're strong. AoE green. And all, and all that stuff like that, but I just, I, I would actually put them like a, like right here above Super Vegeta, but uh, I don't really care. Um, this dude seems interesting. I'm a, I'm gonna try using him. He looks, yeah, actually looks pretty fun. These two are pretty much the same character and LF17, he's actually insane. So yeah, I hope you like this tier list. Uh, this is again low rank, so yeah, peace out.